I'm getting ready to work on a painting that needs lots of masking fluid and I found some new tools for masking fluid so I wanted to show those to you. The one that I've recommended for the long time is the fine line and the trick about this guy is you don't want to squeeze it. You can squeeze it to start it. See it gets kind of goop goopy but then you can draw it and Make some pretty good lines. If you squeeze it, then that's what happens. Okay, this one's using PBO drawing gum. And a new way that I've been doing it lately is taking a brush that has an angle on it, putting the brush inside the PBO drawing gum and making lines with it that way. Can get some pretty fine lines with that. But I recently got a PBO masking fluid marker. Okay, so this guy's pretty cool. You have to shake it up, there's a little ball inside. And then it's got this very fine tip. It lets you do very fine, really consistent lines. And what you need to know about this guy is it's got a little plastic tip. So you need to take that out and wash it before you do your masking fluid again. What's nice about it, since it's plastic, you don't have to replace the tip. And I'm pretty sure you can fill this back up. Then um, I was in Michael's and saw that Molotow has a pump masking fluid. It comes in four millimeters and two millimeters. So I got the four. And you can see, again, you shake it and pump a little bit and it turns blue. And that's what that guy does. So since it's four, it's bigger than that one, but the two millimeters should be really similar. And it does say that it's refillable. And I would imagine, yep, that's got a little nib thing that you would probably take out, clean that guy too. It's real porous. So I just wanted to show you those different ways of doing masking fluid. Of course, there's the old fashioned way of putting masking fluid on a brush after you put some soap on it so that it won't wreck your brush and then you can use your brush to apply it. Okay, so all my masking fluid is dry. I'm gonna put a little ink on here. However, I've used one of these pickups from Cheap Joe's, but it can get kind of dirty, but we'll do it both ways. So there's that, and then I'll show you how to take it off using masking tape. And it doesn't have to be this big, just, that's just what I have. Okay, so let's start out using the pickup, and we'll use this on half. What I kind of notice with the ink, yes, it's picking up the ink too. It's not very good. All right, let's try the masking tape. So what I like about the masking tape is when it gets too much ink on it or paint, just throw it away. And boy, that is a whole lot better than what happened with our pickup. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So I hope this was helpful for you to see these different tools um, to apply masking fluid. And I hope to see you in online classes at CherylWilliamsArt.com at the Academy of Alcohol, Inc.